Overnight, Indiana State Police have issued a silver alert for the missing son of former Colts player Daniel Muir. Investigators say Bryson Muir was last seen leaving his grandma's house near Cleveland about two weeks ago. Our Chase Howell talked with the boy's grandmother tonight and Daniel Muir's sister. So Chase, what did they say? Scott, his sister tells me Daniel has been estranged from his family for years. When Cheryl Wright went to pick Bryson up in Toledo at her daughter's request, this is how she expected him to look. Instead, when he got in the car, she says he had a black eye, a fat lip, and a swollen face. He told me that, you know, he deserved it and, and it was okay. So um, I told him that it wasn't. No one should beat their children like that, not if they love them. Friday night, I spoke to Wright on the phone for about 15 minutes about her daughter, Kristen, son-in-law, Daniel, and what she believes happened to her 14-year-old grandson. So I just want to find Bryson. I want to make sure that he's okay. Wright says the day she went to pick Bryson up, there were three people in the car, his mom and dad, and a man she didn't know. But only Bryson drove the nearly two hours back to her Cleveland home with her. She, she just told me that I needed to pick him up. And, and, you know, because this is an ongoing case, I don't want to say um everything that happened during our conversation but she just told me that i needed to come get him after only a couple days Wright says bryson was picked up by his mother his dad and an adult male but not before she called police Wright says three or four minutes after they left an officer pulled them over but bryson wasn't in the car so what could have happened to bryson within that three to four minutes that you think Sir, the only the only things that the police officers told me is that they probably put him into another vehicle and um, and that car drove off. As of Friday afternoon, Indiana State Police say both Chris and Ann Daniel are no longer cooperating with investigators. Friday morning, state police say the Muirs backed out of a meeting with police that they were supposed to bring Bryson to. Bryson is, I believe, somewhere else and, and they just don't want to bring him back. Maybe they don't want the, the um, police to see his face. Um, I think it's been almost two weeks now, but I'm sure that those those injuries are still there. I called and texted numbers believed to belong to Daniel and Kristen, but never got a response back. Reporting in Logansport, Chase Howell, 13 News. So this, yeah, this, there, there's so many questions with this one. Um, the main one being, where's Bryce and Muir? And then on top of that, the parents, they backed out of the meeting. Uh, with law enforcement and they're no longer cooperating so that right there is going to raise some eyebrows but um, at some point they're going to have to talk because this isn't going to go away uh, until that kid is found alive and well uh, they're going to have to explain where this child is and you would think that if your child is missing you will want uh, every resource that's available uh, to find him and get him back um I think he's still alive. I mean, I could be, I could be wrong. Um, it could be possible that he's still alive. Um, and like the grandmother said, I mean, it, it could be possible that they're trying to wait for his, uh, you know, black eye and bruises to heal uh, before they cooperate. But I mean, the picture is out there now. And, and even when the, the wounds heal, they're going to have to answer the questions about that. Why was he beat up? How did he get that black eye and who did it? So, um, yeah, I mean, this is very strange and unusual to have a person go missing. And the last people to see him were his grandmother, who called the police, and uh, his mother, his father, and then this guy who was in the car with them. They were the last people to see him. And as of right now, they're not talking. And um, I don't know, maybe what they might be doing is trying to, you know, get their stories together, which you know, might include coaching the kid about what to say once they do decide to cooperate. Uh, but as the, as more time passes, we've seen how, um, you know, these things can kind of end uh, with a lot of these cases and it never ends well for the missing person. So hopefully he's still alive and he's found soon and uh, he's safe. But do you believe that the parents have something to do to, uh, do with this? I mean, it's it's mysterious because the earth just doesn't, open up and just swallow people. Uh, he's going to have to pop back up at some point, And if they're hiding him, um, they won't be able to do that forever. So, so y'all take care, stay safe. And uh, hopefully this kid is found. Peace.